Welcome to EJH Bridge Cars. Oh, it looks like it might rain, but it's holding off, so we're going to try to do some work on the TR2. Something a little bit different, but still body work. We're going to replace the battery box in my TR2 project. Self-evident why this needs to be replaced. And this is the new battery box, which came from Rimmers. And it's pretty much the same, though there's a couple of brackets on the back of my box that are right here that I don't see on this one. So we'll have to look at those when it comes out. So the first thing we're going to need to do is clean up this edge, this, that vertical, this vertical, and this groove. If you look, this box comes up and comes back, which goes under this groove. So I'm going to assume there's spot welds on all these. And generally, if you clean them up, which we'll be using this knotted wire wheel for, that should make them a lot more uh, visible. So here it is cleaned up. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera, but there's like a dimple there. There's one there, another one there, one there, one there, one there. There's a couple here, another one there. So they're all over this thing. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to drill an eighth of an inch. You don't actually need to go through both layers of steel, just the first one. Because you just want to make a depression. This is the spot weld driller here. This little point is spring-loaded. It just needs somewhere to fall in and it stops that thing from wandering when it starts to cut. Okay, so I've drilled a couple of them out already. You can see how the circle it makes. I'm going to do this one for you. So that's just the dimples just down th really through the first layer. Well, that one didn't throw the little plume of rust, but a lot of the times when it breaks through that first layer, you'll see a little puff of rust come through because there's rust between the layers. So these ones are kind of hard to see because this is so pockmarked. So what I have been doing is, this is my uh, proper of a cut tool. And you use that to go down until you hit some resistance, and that's where the spot weld's at. Almost feels like they ran off the edges doing these ones. Keep working your way around like that, and you can see at the end they actually did some looks like this little bit of stick welding. So we're either going to grind that, or sometimes the spot weld cutter will cut it. So anyway, you just keep working your way around like that. So I'm going to do that a bit more, which I don't suppose you're really that interested in watching me do all that. So we'll cut back after we get some more of these out of the way. As you can see, I've got this all peeled away through here. And this back piece also, I also just cut that off so that I can move this around a bit. It's, gonna, it's caught right there, I need to catch it. It's interesting, there's marks here from the spot welder, but it's not welded. <laughs> but the two pieces of steel weren't touching, so that was a mistake at the factory 69 years ago. Anyway, I gotta do a little more cutting here. See this tear right here? This is my mistake. I'm using the spot welder chisel, I want to try to hold that really flat so that that bottom edge is flush with your tin. And I was holding it up a bit like this, and it tends to cut in doing that. So I can fix that. That's not a big deal. But it's just something you should try to avoid. It's easier to avoid it than it is to fix it. Well, I got it out. So the biggest problem was right here at this top corner, it was welded, so there wasn't any way to get in there because it's folded back at that sharp angle. So I just had to use my chisel, my spot weld chisel in this case, and work it in and cut it. I could, because this was all loose, I lifted it up a little bit and I could cut, you know, about the first half inch with a uh, pair of tin snips. By lifting up that edge, I got the tin snips in and I could cut this back to about here, but there wasn't any way to get around that corner. And there's several welds here, some of them missed. This is actually a little tab that's welded onto the back. You can see there. 
Anyhow, so it's out now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time. I'm gonna clean up these edges and I gotta grind off these nubs where I've drilled out the spot welds. And uh, I may try to rebuild this edge a little bit. So I'll do that and then we'll get back to you. So added the, uh, this is a tab for a wire and I transferred these two brackets. So whether that's because this is only a TR2 thing or whether they just don't have them on this uh, battery box, don't know. Never really done a TR3 one, so. Anyhow, they're on well and just need to install it. So I've set it in the hole. This end is set in where it belongs. I did trim maybe a 16th off of these two bulkheads because it was a little snug. So it just seemed like the easiest thing to do. So as you can see, that doesn't want to fit underneath the front of the bulkhead, but just a little bit of gentle persuasion. And I think we'll, we'll go. That's one side. That's the other side. That's gone in. Yeah. So doing that has sprung it just a little bit this way, but when we get it all welded in, it'll be fine. So this originally was spot welded in, and I don't really think that realistically I'm going to get my spot welder in here. So I'm just going to weld the edges, which is the spot weld. I mean, the electrode must have been right on the edge on almost all of these. And then, of course, they didn't even get it welded on the top at all. So I want to secure the bottom and then I'll push this back and clamp it. This is lifted just a little bit, but we can make that come back down. That's not a big deal. So I put a clamp here just to pull this corner in tight because otherwise you could see daylight through here. and We didn't want to uh, have water dripping in through there. Well, there it is all in place. Quick coat of black paint just to keep it from rusting out here in the rain. It is supposed to rain the next couple of days. Looks pretty good. My uh, quick coat of paint certainly helps how my welds look. I have to admit that my welding abilities have greatly improved my grinding skills. Anyway, it's the end of, it's getting dark, so it's time to go in. It's been a fairly long afternoon, but it's all done. So that was a fair amount of work. It'll be worth it. That other one obviously was just completely shot. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we'll see you next time.